to base. Bring in prisoners. Over. <laughs> We caught these three goblins in area Quilt Patch Zero, Your Majesty, and these two are in disguise. Hey! I'm not a goblin, I'm Dennis, and my tooth has been stolen, and I demand my money. What? He's goblin height, he's rude, and he smells like trouble. Do you want me to check him for goblin warts? Oi, get off! Don't bother. I know a real kid when I see one. I am the Fairy Queen. And you have entered a war zone, Sonny. We are the fairy freedom fighters, and we need all the help we can get. Blue Squadron couldn't get through to the children. The kiddies will wake up in the morning with teeth still under their pillows. <gasps> Sorry, ma'am. Carry on trying, Blue Leader. A question I've always wanted to ask. Why do tooth fairies go for teeth in the first place? Leaving coins under pillows is the only way we can prove to children that we exist. And if a kid says, I don't believe in fairies, then... One of us is fairy dust. What can we do to help? They're ugly enough to pass for goblins, Your Majesty. That's a bunch. Let's use them as spies. Yeah, yeah. Can't we go home instead? All the portals to the real world are now blocked by goblins. To get home, you have to help us. <laughs> Sounds exciting. OK, we'll do it. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Here are your disguises. Goblins are incredibly stupid. And by the way, they do anything they're told. Except by a fairy. You must find out who their new leader is. And why he's doing this to us. 